with the unfortunate situation that just occurred with um, um, G. Depp and, 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 and admitting that he committed a, uh, a homicide, you know what I'm saying? So break it down for us, your relationship with G. Depp and how you actually met him. All right, my name is Robert C. Style Jackson, A&R for Out of the Recordings. I'm the A&R consultant and friend for G. Depp. I met G. Depp actually in 2009. He was selling CDs, mixtapes, two for five on, on my block. My MOS, it was him and a guy in trouble. So I met G. Depp, I said, yo, brother, I'm a fan. I love your music. I love your style. What you been up to? He's like, listen, brother, I just came home from jail for robbery. You know what I'm saying? All I asked for is a chance. I thought, all right, cool. How much you selling the CD for? He said, $5. I bought both of the CDs. I said, listen, next time I see, see you, I'd like to get an interview with you on my TV show, PopsTV.com, and maybe possibly, possibly assign you to a label I'm working for, for IMG Recorders. He said, I ain't bet, let's make it happen, daddy. And then from there, it's been history. You know what I'm saying? But knowing that he had just came home, right. and uh, yes, he had a successful past when he was with Bad Boy, you know what I'm right. saying? But then he went through the struggles, and when he came home, did you not know that he was under the influence of of drugs? I mean, I, I didn't know, because when I met him, he was sober, you know what I'm saying? And the people from the streets were telling me, he's a drug addict, you know, he's a crackhead, he smoked dust, he's messed with hair on. I never seen it until a few times I did saw it. So, with you knowing that he was into that, why would you still want to rock with him? Because isn't that sort of like rocking with a loose cannon? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But at the same time, y'all believe in taking chances. One thing about life, one thing about America, we're all about redemption. You got to give everybody a chance. Okay, okay, okay. So, has g Depp actually been... What What is his state right now in the court system? I mean, what is he being charged with? I'm right now being charged with first-degree manslaughter. Uh, we have no more further information until January. You know, you confess to a crime, it takes a lot of integrity to do that. A lot of honesty to confess to something that you did years ago. A lot of artists, a lot of people won't do that. I'm just mad that hip hop is not really supporting them at this moment. Instead, they've been blasted by the media, Power 105, 187, and different websites when they should be, you know, um, not commending him, but at the same time, giving some kind of advice, some okay. kind of support, you know what I'm saying? So being that you were such a close friend to him, did he actually come to you and say, yo, I got some shit on my chest that, that I just need to, to get off and, 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 you know what I'm saying, come to amends with? Did he seem any different, you know what I'm saying? I mean, last time I saw him was on my birthday. I told him night we shot the video, Six Main Way to Die. That's stuff I explained to him in that video, but he was impelled that day, you know, so he was hot. I was drinking and he was smoking some PCP. He wasn't really seeming himself that day. Now, that do... Did you get high with him? I mean, did, did you nah, guys nah, get high together? No, 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 no. Never got high with him. On my birthday, I did celebrate, though. I drank some Hennessy, and that was it. Okay, okay. So what was the scene like um, down at the courtroom a couple days ago? It was definitely yesterday. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was chaotic. I did not see Puffy there. I did not see Black Rob alone. Mace and other bad boy comrades there. But his Dita was there. His family was there. His wives was there. You said wives? It was all there and support for G-Dub. You know, all for my attempt to go out to G-Dub and his family and the victim family at this time. Okay. So, you said that in, in, in your relationship with G-Dub, he was still getting paper, basically. Still getting money. You know, publishing checks was pretty nice. 5000 He was still doing shows. But 5000 what? I mean, 5000 a year? 5000 a month? Like, how, how was coming 5000 every three months. Oh, that's what's up. Every quarter, every three months, every quarter, you can like publish a check from EMI. You know, definitely. He wrote for, also he wrote for your favorite rapper, favorite rapper, Pub Daddy, Black Train of Parrot, P. Diddy, G. Depp wrote for that, most of, most of the album. For, hold on, he, he wrote for most of the album? Yeah. Yeah, that man, man if he's standing here right now, he'll tell you that. You know what I mean? He wrote for most of Pub Daddy on the album right here, Black Train of Parrot. So, so is G. Depp actually featured on Last Train of Parrot or not? Nah, nah, they took him out of there. Wow. Probably feel that he's not viable at the moment. You know, let me utilize these guys right here. So lastly, did the G Depp, being that he released the video Six Million Ways to Die, did right. he actually have a mixtape coming out? Yeah, the album out right now for Ghetto Legend on iTunes through a company called Famous Records. No promotion, they threw it out there. Also, go to www.deppa.biz.com and go to www.imgrecording.com and also support. Hold your head, man. Pray for G. Depp at this moment. You know, everybody might see him as a career criminal or a murderer. 
but at the same time he confessed for a crime that he did 17 years ago. The day before he did that crime, he actually made a little interest to IMG recording that he will sign to the label and do a reality show my part of Rick Robinson called Camp Hip Hop. Where we get artists, bring them to a secluded area, get their life together, and give their life to the Lord and also record. You know what I mean? So that's what happened. We prayed, the brother started crying. I think truthfully that uh, he was on influenced by some kind of drugs or maybe God was talking to him. And um, that's the reason why he probably gave himself up, you know what I mean?